All right, guys, they're playing some Rumble top lane versus an Olaf. And what we're running in this game is Arcane Comet, Nimbus Cloak, Absolute Focus, Scorch. Then we are also running Demolish. And then we're also specifically running the second wind with a D-ring. This game, I want to show you the strength of Rumble top lane. And funny enough, we're also playing to one of the hardest matchups ever. We're playing against Olaf. So... It's going to be a funny one because Rumble top lane is one of the best champions for laning phase. And then somehow we get to run up into one of the most toughest matchups ever. Like, Olaf is not specifically one you want to be running into. Absolutely not. So we're going to be figuring this out. We'll find out a way to win this matchup because fortunately Rumble in the lane is also surprisingly good. It's just that we kind of need to put ourselves into a good position to make it work, but... We'll see how that's gonna go. Nice, got my E here. So the idea I have is to like, in general, play it safe for now. And then level three and four, once we have the wave into a better position, then we start playing aggressively into Olaf. And at that point, we're gonna be looking for kills. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to do some experimenting here. I hope we're not gonna be losing too many last hits. I hope not. If I have my W, like, things are going to get much better as well. You know, one point in life, I want to mention this real quick. There was a time where I actually wanted to become an absolute massive, like, rumble man. It was, like, many years ago, though. Weirdly enough, like, rumble was a slightly a different champion back in the day. Despite it being almost looking the exact same. The place that was completely different. Alright, good. Last hitting under tower is not exactly one of the easiest things to do, but it did actually put us in a uh, in a pretty healthy position to even make those trades possible. Now all we have to do is put this lane into a slow push. And then resetting as soon as we have the chance here. Could have like followed up with a Q, of course, but that wouldn't be a too smart idea. Let's walk up here. We all we have to do right now is thin out this wave. Nice. We're able to push this. That's absolutely perfect. You might there might be a possibility. We will see the jungler here. Good. Match to push it. I might in fact even stay around. Because this guy is getting very low HP. Their jungle was in mid lane. Also good to know. I will directly hard push this one too. This kind of depends though. And again, we got him super low. There's a, a pretty big possibility that Shaco will show up, so we're going to be in a 2 versus 2 soon. Hmm. Nice attempt from him trying to dive, but unfortunately that didn't quite work out. And it seems like he's going to go for the reset, so we're going to have to hard shove. Remains very low. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Now on top of that, of course, we can proc this too. Nice. Now all we have to do is just hard shove this. So it, like, despite the uh, despite the Olaf pick here, we're actually winning pretty hard, which. Does not really come as a surprise because Rumble, of course, is also the perfect champ for laning. But um, Olaf is definitely part of a uh, of, of a matchup that you typically don't want to run into because as soon as he hits an axe on you, he can actually engage and just completely obliterate you. That's uh, uh, partially a problem. But let's see here. I'm gonna go for a Dark Seal and two pots, and then this one. Let's go. 
So this guy is smart because he went for mercs. He also got longsword. He's got. He's also running the biscuits. Um, we have to be a little careful now because he's actually tanking a lot of damage with the uh, with the boots. Plus, he can get to me very easily. So right, it's gonna be very different now. He also didn't lose any farm on her tower, which is slightly worrying. Nice, I got it. I'm just kind of... Nah, I'm just gonna thin it out. That's slightly better. I will keep this one standing so I can slow push in an easier way. Nice. There's always a possibility that Shaco is going to show up. I want to try and hit an E. Shaco is currently in mid. That's good to know. You don't have you now we just kind of need to hold the lane like this and keep paying attention to where Shaco is going to be. Perfect. Wave is massive. I'm thinking about rotating towards mid lane. Making a play there, getting a kill maybe. Ha! This guy's not running through my ultimate. Kind of like I expected. I don't know. I uh, dropped it down. I was gonna win the fight if he was gonna uh, all in my ultimate, but um. I probably need some help here. I do not have my some spells. Also. Let me check. Yeah, we have to play the safe. He, he can all in me right now. Very, very easily. Might have the ability to win. It really depends. Ah, he's about to get away. Or maybe I'm lucky, but I don't think I am. <laughs> No, I'm not lucky, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, at least we can proc demolish once more. Nice. One more wave and I'm happy. Yep. That guy is dead for sure. Can't really help him because if even if I show up, what am I going to do, right? I have no ultimate. I don't have to damage to beat him. That Shaco was using the clone. He was full HP. Um, we're going to go back here. We will specifically buy the rocket belt. And I'm not going for um, the alternator. Instead, I'm actually going to go for this one and then also this one. Because for the same value, you get 60 AP. You do not have the effect, but that's okay. Like, we'll get the, the, the very next time we buy. But I'm just trying to be efficient with my uh, with my damage here. Oh. Ha. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm still missing two. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Oof, so got it. Nice. I'm not hitting him. Hmm. Well, I got my ultimate. I just don't have to use it. <laughs> no ultimate needed. All right. That's just how much I did. Oh man, I gotta love the way how Rumble works. I'm not gonna lie. Always interesting to play Rumble. Because the champ is so unique and like the design of this champ is so weird. People in general also don't really know how to play against it. They expect Rumble to be weak, but he's not. Perfect. Now we can reset. I'm uh, purposely hitting R on the wave so I can just reset faster. Um... That's going to allow me to not lose any last hits on my way back. 
sell that one don't need that anymore i was gonna get the blue trinket and let's go back like that ultimate right there was absolutely needed because otherwise olaf would be hard shoving the wave right now and he would end up like getting a plate on me He's got life steal and he's got a pickaxe. Cool. It's got a lot of damage. I think he's probably going Hydra build. I'm probably tanking the wave here. Depends. I've got ignite ready, so if he, if he's gonna fight me or approach me, or whatever, I can fight him. Yep. And we got him. Did take a lot of damage to make that work, but it did work out actually. You don't have to tell me twice. Nice. I consider this matchup to be done. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be snow snowballing this game very hard. I'm glad I also run demolish in this game. Because it does allow me to get the um, it does actually allow me to get the plates down. Which is partially a problem when you play Rumble, because you don't have the ability to like rush down towers, if that makes sense, right? It's kind of hard to do sometimes. Depends on how well you use the uh, the overheat system as well. Does make it slightly easier if you use the overheat system to try and get more attack speed, of course. Um, yeah, let's go back. So now we're given a choice: do we go for? rocket belt or do we go for zonia um i mean do we go for zonia or do we go for shadow flame i'm personally thinking towards going shadow flame since we're having a good time but going zonia is certainly not bad either because with rumble you can uh you can use zonia and q at the same time basically not being able to take any damage so maybe maybe i'm considering Going Zonia? Probably will. The more I think about it, the better it is. We could just walk up to this guy now because we're clearly stronger than this guy. No doubting it. Got it. This Olaf can absolutely not fight me. Whatever, like, no matter how hard this guy's gonna try it. I think we're going to be killing off this guy though. He's going to walk off this direction. Sure. I can probably block him. Oh. I am not happy with my old placement. I thought I was going to block off this direction. I should have blocked it off both. My bad. No way in life, right? <laughs> I am not happy, bro, with my with my ultimate placement because I was thinking that Nafiri could like block this direction. I should just threw it like this. That would have been better because then he would have to walk into my ultimate regardless. That would have been ten out of ten, though. Um. Let's go Shadow Flame, and then afterwards we can go either uh, Zarnia or Rabidans. I'm gonna go for this one for now. I'm uh, also specifically buying this one. I'm not gonna go for the Alternator, because even though we get the nice sweet effect from the Alternator, uh, this item is gonna do far better for me, because I get the uh, 60 AP. Like, buying off this item is usually pretty hard to do, because 1250 gold is not something you typically get. Drake is up though. We gotta go Drake soon. Don't wanna lose this one. <laughs> Got it. Might have to go with Drake after this next wave. There's no fights happening yet. They could be coming top lane. Oh, wow. Several people. Bro.
bro. Just like one auto. <laughs> I dished out so much damage on Nautilus, dude. And that guy is actually quite tanky. And I also killed Shaco almost with my attack speed. Not bad. That could be a free Drake for my team. Hmm. Three people taking hero, then going topside. My teammates could have taken this one. Would have been so worth it. Yeah, kind of as suspected. I need like 350 or a little bit less. If Nefiri could force these guys to stay, we can actually get the kill easily. Um, I guess this one's the real one. No. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna push. We gotta go Drake next time. Kinda wish you could have had a kill right there, not gonna lie. We do get the item now. Okay. Shadow Flame it is. Quick question. Thanks for being such an educational, you know, videos and streams. Hey, no problem, man. No problem. All right, I'm coming down with my ultimate right now, so we're going to have a good time. If I place my ultimate correctly in a fight, it's going to be an absolute easy one. Well, I had to do that. <laughs> I couldn't refuse that. I, I had to press my R right there. It was too tempting to do it. Thank you. Since we actually do have like two kills on them, I'm not going to rotate to the Drake because whether I am there or not, it's not going to have any impact. So it's better for me to go back topside against Olaf here. Actually, Shaco stole it. That sucks, man. That sucks. I couldn't change anything to prevent him from stealing, though, because he would just queue across the wall. Whoops, missed my cannon. Still got my rocket belt available. I am not fighting him actually. <laughs> I gotta be careful with this guy. Probably Shaco could come top now. He's spawning. Gotta hurry up. I will not stay up here. Nice. Now let's quickly get the component. The component, alright. We're gonna be going for this one. I refuse to go for Zania now because we are having a really good time with the Shadow Flame ever since. And if we combine Rocket Bell, Shadow Flame with Rabidans, we basically uh, dish out the maximum amount of damage you can and possibly do. You'll see for yourself. And then right after that, we can either go Void Staff or Zhonya, so... We will get a Zhonya eventually. Wait. Got my ultimate. He actually decided to go the other direction. Okay. Okay. Alright. Fortunately, my ultimate is only 70 seconds. <laughs> it's not that much. Got it. <laughs> I'm not gonna auto attack, alright? I want to get that cannon this time. I refuse. Oh, trading kills. Shaco caught me again. Sure. Lost my stacks though. Can't really say how happy I am with this. Let's go for another one. I'm selling my D ring. That's. I don't need my D ring anymore. D ring is nice if you're full HP with Rumble, but that's it. Well, almost for HP. For the healing. 
Okay. An actual question. Do you find playing League of Legends fun? Not League itself, but fun playing it fun. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I, I know that there's people out there that are playing League. Just because it's League, but I don't know, man. I'm having fun. That's why I'm, that's why I'm still here. No, of course, it's, it's partially like... Of course, League is also my job. But I mean, I chose it to be like that, right? Because this game is fun. Like, I mean, not this game. I mean, leak itself, right? That's always an interesting question. Do you actually have fun playing leak? Because there's a lot of people out there just play leak because it's leak, and they they always have a bad time if they lose a game. But like, they always come back to this game. But like, secretly, people like this game. People say they don't like League, but they do secretly like it. That's why they play it. Mm, I can't fight off the Tristana because I do think there's some other dude right behind it, actually. There's three people showing, not the Shaco. Can't really all lane to Tristana. I would like to. I just can't actually do it. I think I might maybe maybe make a play here. Shaco's actually in the jungle. Yeah. I'm not sure where he left off to. Probably across. What happened to that one? Wait a second. <laughs> Really? We get nothing out of that? Bro. That's slightly uh, disappointing. I actually threw my ultimate into Gangplank because he was like hogging the wall. That way I can dish out the most damage. But he walked out of it way too easily actually. Well we got TP on mid. I need like a little bit more. Actually, I already have enough. We can't we can't reset yet because the Drake. Well, this is probably something we have to try and fight for. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sucks. Another opportunity that we miss. Well, I'm gonna have to go back now. I got my Rabidence almost. Rabidence will make a very big difference. Cool. Let's go. Now you will see how much my ultimate's gonna do. You can see that it's already doing 1991 damage, okay? If they stand in my ultimate that long, my ultimate will kill them alone. And that's like excluding my arc in common. We we still have more damage coming from my ruins itself. I think we can make a big play right here. It depends. Hmm. Oh, they they could see me. That's probably going to mean they will go for Baron. Can't say how happy I am with this. <laughs> I can't 1v9 this one. Impossible. Nope. Only got one. Should have jumped on it like a second earlier and I think I would have killed everybody because they were all trying to prioritize the Baron. My bad. I did saw the HP on Baron so I could have tried it. Oh man, what a tough match. I'm not gonna lie bro. There's plenty of kills that we missed. Weirdly enough though, my, my, uh, my jungle has been farming the majority of the time unfortunately though like 
he's actually two levels behind. Shago has a lot of impact and he's actually ahead as well. Oh no, he could see that, bro. He could see that. Oh, the Olaf apparently is not going in. Alright. Yo, that Olaf could have, like, definitely all in that guy. I'm not gonna lie. Love to see how the support is like farming the jungle while the jungler is farming the lane. <laughs> I don't know man. <laughs> now we're cooking. Let's make the play. No W? I'm gonna keep my ultimate. Never mind. I am impressed, bro. I don't know. I am so strong in this game, but like, it is absolutely impossible to make any kind of difference here. Like, these guys have been scaling up ever since. I was honestly expecting to be able to kill Olaf without using my ultimate, but my jungler just disappeared in two seconds. Rough one. We had a good time early game, but this game is starting to get pretty bad now. Tower gone. Alright. We're gonna go bottom once more. You know what sucks the most? Like, with Rumble, you have pretty decent wave clear, but... Getting like an inhib wave down soon is gonna be rough. Guess these guys are probably still up here. Oh, they're going to mid lane. All right, cool. Hold her steady. <laughs> nice. Drake spawns in eight seconds. You don't have to tell me twice. If we could push mid lane, we can actually set it up properly, but. We are getting the lane pushed in like by these guys instead. Can't leave this behind as easily. That guy's gonna all in wreck everybody. Got it. Probably can't get anything more here. Okay. In my opinion, it's over. It's kind of over. Not gonna lie. Sucks, man. We, we had such a good time in the lane, bro. But, like, as soon as we get to the mid game, we're just getting crushed over and over. It's partially, like, the team comp that does it. Because they have a much better team comp if it comes down to team fights, And their scaling is just ten times better. Like, for Nautilus, he can just cast R in or cast Q in, and that's it. We don't have any frontline or whatever to, like, tank it. I'm missing this. I don't know if my Zhonya is going to make any meaningful impact either. It really depends. Maybe with, like, a 5-man ultimate R and 5-man ultimate Q, we can try something out, but that's very unlikely. Like, we need to get a fight in the jungle to make that work. Um, the inhibit bot lane is not gone yet. Ever looked up to a yordle? We'll try it out. Maybe if we get Zonia, we can make a meaningful, uh, meaningful difference. I don't know. We're about to find out. Kind of sucks to see Olaf actually like getting back. Mm hmm. Oh, that's up here. 
I don't know where everybody else is. I can't tell them. Oh, this guy's dead. Nice. My ultimate is only 60 seconds. Sidestep. If we get caught like once you don't have to tell me by Olaf with the Q, we're basically dead. It's gonna be gone. This, I don't know. It's gonna make the lane so much worse. Yeah, what I was afraid of. The uh, inhib goes down at some point. We don't have to clear to like get rid of this. Not bad. My ultimate's on cooldown. I wonder if this works. <laughs> it actually worked, bro. Unbelievable. It, that's just how much damage my ultimate actually does. This is an example. That's the fake one, by the way. We need one more item, and what I'm thinking about is a Demonic Embrace. Void Staff would also certainly not be a bad idea. Hello there, Timeless Heart. Thank you for the 8 months resub, man. Hey, welcome back to the sub family, as always. Cannot believe that this game is still standing. Their team comp is so much better in the late game because they're running a gangplank in mid. But I have no expectations of ever making it out of this base. Especially because they got a Shaco. They are also about to get four four drakes. And it's also in the mountain drake, by the way. You don't have to tell me twice. Hmm. It's in the jungle? If you could get a combo off. Nice. If I can get one good ultimate off, good placement, then we can actually kill them both. Yeah. There it is. Never mind. They didn't get CC'd. I was hoping they would get CC'd by Sintra. Back top lane again. Oh man, like this game is, in my opinion, a pretty boring one because we never make it out of the base anymore. We have to rely on the enemy team just walking in here. Again, they walk away. Can't actually push this lane out because we just don't have the wave clear to do it. I can't tell in that guy. There's probably some dude behind it. They will push once again. Let's see what we can do. There's a gangplank running in our base. There we go, Zarnia making uh, making useful here. 
<laughs> That's precisely what I wanted when I uh, when I bought Zarnia. This guy actually did all in me at, in the end. Cool. Well, I guess the game is really going to end here. I don't think we can defend this. Let's try. Got my ultimate in 25. Yep, got him. Who knows, maybe we can turn this still. I'll go for voice stuff. Let's go. Course drops that down. Can't actually get him. They're maxed out, or at least where we almost are. Thank you. There you go. That that's like the type of wave clean that you're looking for, bro. Just use the overheat system. Try and like dish it, like dish out all the all all the other techs. Not bad. There's three still of them alive, so we can't hard push. Okay, we're maxed out. My teammates are still halfway with their builds. Bro, 38 minutes of like farming in base, man. Cannot believe it. Not even, not even one time in this game we managed to make it out. Even my mid laners is standing at the base. Look. Horse Baron. Let me charge it up real fast. That will help. Okay, let's have some fun, shall we? Not enough. It was worth trying. You know, Olaf is a beast leg game. But yeah. Hey, this is Rumble Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.